What's up, guys? It's definitely been a while since I was last active on this channel, but don't worry. At the following timestamp, I'm going to go into detail as to why I once again haven't been very active on this channel. If you prefer to skip to this timestamp first and then go back here to watch the rest of the video, that's fine with me. All I ask is that you stick around until here. Thanks, guys, and enjoy the video. So, here's the thing. I've been debating on whether or not I should make a video about this topic for quite some time. Now that I've thought about it for a while, I have now come to the conclusion that yes, this definitely needs to get brought up again, because this topic is one that I feel is not getting talked about enough outside the official Tanky Online forum. But before I continue any further, I think it's very important that I give a quick disclaimer. If you disagree with any of the points that I am about to make in this video, feel free to tell me in the comments down below, because I am always open for discussion about this topic. Also, I absolutely hate when games fail in general, because when a game fails, it is now one less game that me and my friends can enjoy playing. So, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. One of the most discussed questions across the entire community is, is Tanky Online really dying? Let's try to figure this out together, shall we? First off, we need to start from the beginning of my experience in Tanky Online. I started playing Tanky Online about four years ago. I originally discovered this Flash-based MMO game through a popular gaming website called Miniclip. Ever since my first time in the game, Crystal Boxes did not exist because of the update that the developers applied back in 2014 that suddenly forced players to depend on the Total Battle Fund as their only source of crystals in battles. The first time I played Tanky Online, I was immediately hooked because of the nature of the game itself. I liked tank games, and I also liked being able to customize a given thing to my liking. Tanky Online was the game that proved to me that those two attributes go very well together. Now, let's fast forward to the present time. Alternativa Platform, the game's developer, has made some significant changes that have therefore made Tanky Online a completely different type of game in my opinion. When I started playing the game, it used to be an actual free-to-play game in terms of overall mechanics. Right now, at the time I'm making this video, the game is still labeled as a free-to-play game, but I now believe that the harsh reality is that Tanky Online has now essentially become a free-to-access, pay-to-play game. What I mean by that is that if you're someone who has never played the game before, and you start spending some time playing it, you will likely realize that you have landed in a battle that not only has an unfair rank limit set, it also features players that have made much more progress than you have, players that overall have a lot more experience in the game than you do. This would therefore lead you to think that this battle is completely unfair. You then leave that battle and queue up for another. Once you're in the second battle, you then discover that it's exactly the same deal. It is not until you take out your wallet and spend the most money that you can on in-game items that you will ever make any sort of progress in this game, period. Now, I may be over-exaggerating a little bit when I say that, but the thing is, that is essentially what Tanky Online has turned into. So, in theory, the more money you spend on the game, the higher your chances of actually getting good at it are. I don't know about you, but something here doesn't seem right to me at all. This tactic seems to me like an obvious cash grab. You should still be able to make as much progress in the game as you wish without you, along with many other players, being forced to spend their own hard-earned money on microtransactions in-game. I will now provide some insight as to how the game made it from point A to point B, aka from a game that was very enjoyable from the start, to a game that now literally requires you to spend money out of your pocket on microtransactions in order to even get close to enjoying it. In order for me to do so, I need to bring up three major in-game updates, which are of course as follows. The Premium Accounts update, the quote-unquote Battle Creation update, and the Matchmaking update. I think we need to talk about the Premium Accounts update first, because this in my opinion was what first made it obvious that this game was changing for the worse. When this update was released on the 20th of October 2015, it gave buyers a number of in-game advantages, including receiving twice as many crystals and 50% more experience in battles, a premium paint which at the time had 15% protection against all turrets and mines, exclusive daily bonuses, the ability to buy XT skins of select M3 equipment, and so on. At first, I thought that this was a very good addition to the game, because for the money that you spend, the service itself seemed like a very good deal, right? 
Well, only until I waited almost a year later for another major update to hit the game. The quote-unquote battle creation update hit the game in November of 2016. According to the developers, the reason for this update was to make joining battles much easier and less time-consuming than before. I think they did achieve that goal, but I don't think that that was the real premise of this update. After doing some research on the Tanky forum, as well as on other outside sources, I believe that the purpose of this update was to get you to start engaging in buying microtransactions, which in turn makes the developers more money, because Tanky is a game that relies specifically on microtransactions in order to essentially keep the developers in business. I first thought that this update was for sure the worst one in the game's history, but only until another year passed by. On the 29th of May 2018, the dreaded matchmaking update finally hit the game after almost a year of development. I don't know about you guys, but I find this to be both the worst update in the game's history and the worst matchmaking system I have ever come across. And trust me, when I say that, I really do mean it. What pisses me off the most about this update specifically is simply the fact that it was in development for such a long time. Because of that, and the fact that the update is indeed very large, the entire TO community thought that this update was quite possibly going to be the best update that has ever hit Tanky Online, period. Before the update officially hit the game, various players tried the system out on the game's test servers and noticed a lot of problems with it and have therefore resorted to reporting those problems to the game's developers as soon as possible. But the fact of the matter is that the developers are not at all interested in listening to community feedback. I personally think that they care more about milking their player base out of all of their disposable income. If I had to compare the failure of the matchmaking update to anything else, I would compare it to the very well-known failure of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. This is what happens when a game developer doesn't take community feedback into account and then suddenly forces an unfinished game out of its early access period. Even after PUBG's first official release, many of the game's main problems were still existent. The performance of the game's servers sucked, the anti-cheat system sucked, etc, etc, etc. I don't want to go too far as to making this video off-topic, but you get the point that I'm trying to make here. This is essentially a matchmaking system that was developed for all the wrong reasons, in my opinion. So, at this point, if you're a subscriber to this channel, you may be asking, Ryan, what's next? Does this mean that you're going to completely move on from Tanky as a whole? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because I still think that Tanky Online has some potential, even after all of these not-so-good updates, I am not going to completely move on from the game. However, you will definitely see less tanky content on this channel, because today marks the start of a new chapter of my YouTube channel. I recently realized that I just needed a change. I like providing you guys content that I really enjoy making, and that's what I'm going to do from now on. Now, of course, I'm not saying that the content that I made before this change wasn't good. What I'm saying is that I now feel that there are so many ways that I can go about improving my content in every aspect possible. Anyways, if you have a different opinion on whether or not Tanky Online is dying, I'd love to hear it. Like I said earlier, I am always open for discussion on this topic. Thank you all for watching this video, and as always, I will see you guys next time.